Hello Vagination, in this video I'm going to show you how I made this 3D printed and laser cut nest box. In my previous videos you might have noticed that I have two 3D printers, one for resin and the other for FDM filament, along with a laser cutter and engraver. I've used them to create various accessories for my budgies, including toys, dishes and even a starship for my vampire crab. But I'm always eager for more challenging projects that are useful for my budgies because I'm a bit of a tech enthusiast. Midjourney is one platform that has truly amazed me with its great ideas for my projects and has even inspired me to create more things for my budgies. While exploring and searching for inspiration for my nest box, despite having many already, including one printed using a 3D printer, I wanted something I could be really proud of. I stumbled upon the idea while searching for keywords like polygonal and geometric designs for the nest box with a futuristic touch as I'm a huge fan of future tech. Suddenly it all clicked and I was mind blown. This design is perfect! It has everything I need a futuristic geometric shape for the birdhouse, a fancy big opening for the birds to enter, white space inside for them to move around, and some nice details to top it off. But hey, this is just the beginning. My first idea was to print nest box with 3D printer, but it's small. But I have a laser too, and I'm going to fuse these technologies into one thanks to Blender 3D modeling. Here's a tip. Scale your picture to the dimensions you need. For example, if the entrance hole for the budgie nest is 5 cm in diameter, then making everything around it was way easier than I expected. After an hour, I can say I have a 3D made nest box. Now that the modeling is complete, we need to export this from Blender as an SVG file, thanks to a tiny add-on, Outline to SVG. An SVG file is needed for the laser software to know how and where to cut. It's as simple as that. And here we go, from digital to reality. But I noticed my laser power is low, time for maintenance I suppose. Also, laser maintenance is not so hard. It's easy to detach the cover of the laser and clean it with acetone and cotton. Here's a before and after showing how dirty the lens was. Now I can continue working on cutting the pieces of the nest. This is a 3mm wooden plate. I think it's thick enough to provide security for the budgies inside. After leveling, this was fast. In just 3 minutes, I got all the tiny details cut perfectly. I think this looks nice. Not great, just nice. It needs colors desperately. Not only will this look cool, but it will also protect the wood making it last much longer, unless the budgies destroy it with their beaks. Everything fits perfectly and I'm using wood glue to permanently bond the pieces together. Yeah. It looks alright, but I need to repeat the process for the back too. 
The minimum recommended size for a budgie nest box bottom is typically around 6 inches by 6 inches, 15 by 15 centimeters, though larger dimensions are often preferred. Budgie parents can accidentally step on their babies, especially in cramped nesting conditions. I've never been paid to advertise any product, but I'm very grateful to Creality and Longer for sending me these awesome machines. Thanks to them, I really enjoy making unique stuff for myself and my pets. I love the idea of fusing all kinds of materials into one unique nest. Maybe the color of the filament is off, but I'll paint it later. I'm a bit hot-headed and I want everything right now. Mid-journey design didn't make this any easier. As simple as it may seem, it took me about a week to assemble and find the proper materials. I had to design and redesign shapes multiple times and use different materials to suit this complex design. Even I wanted to give up and start over. But by taking easy steps and solving problems one by one, I got it nicely. But I think the point is to make this beautiful and mostly efficient as a budgie nest box, as its main purpose, I would love to see babies inside. As from the beginning of the video, the first idea was to have the roof as one part, but this wouldn't fit into the 3D printer, as budgies need more space inside. This will have a webcam attached to the side, so I can monitor the budgie's growth and development. Now, all that's left is the final painting. I just finished painting the 3D models for the last time. And I think that's it for this project. It's completed. And now testing time. Our budgie is going to go inside. And also I'm going to place webcam inside. Just a few minutes later, the first pair showed interest in the nest box, my Bella. She's scared, but her fear will be outweighed by the need to breed and get inside the nest. She needs to make sure it's safe and won't pose any threat to her or her chicks. She'll check if it's secure from predators, even though there are none in this aviary. The whole flock is excited about the nest, and having only one in the aviary could lead to females fighting over it, potentially even resulting in chicks being killed. Even the male budgie is checking the nest, either to ensure it's safe or just to see what all the fuss is about. And that's it. Officially the nest seems like a great place for baby chicks to hatch and grow. Instinctively, the female is checking or preparing the bedding, possibly to lay an egg.
In just two to four days, you can expect the first egg. Do you like my new nest box for budgies?